You can catch the coronavirus from a contaminated surface or from being too close to somebody else. But public health experts do worry about one of these way more than the other. Person-to-person -person contact spreads this virus more easily, and it's harder to prevent. Both of these risks come from the same place, inside the nose of an infected person. The virus tricks the human body into making new copies of itself, and those copies catch a ride out in tiny particles in the breath. Just calmly breathing or talking, this person emits particles that can carry the virus. You've seen them if you've ever breathed onto a cold window. If we zoom in on the kind of droplet that can come out of this person's mouth, you'd find a bunch of copies of the virus floating around inside. The amount of viral particles in droplets is called the viral load. The more virus that gets into your body, the more likely it is to infect you. Droplets like this can evaporate, creating viral aerosols that linger in the air. They can also scatter all <laughs> over the place after a sneeze. But for you to get infected from touching that, a lot of stuff has to go wrong. You'd have to touch it soon enough that the virus hasn't died, which can be hours or as much as a few days, depending on the surface. Then you'd have to touch your own face somewhere and let those copies of the virus in. But you do also have a second chance to wash with soap or sanitize before that happens. You get no second chances at all with person-to-person -person spread. If droplets come out and you're close enough they get in, that's the ball game. Most health experts think you should give people at least six feet. More is better because sneezes and coughs can also shoot droplets a lot farther than that. You can also help to nip this risk by leaving your house prepared. Face coverings can trap your droplets so they don't reach anybody else.